So this question, all we're going to do is, I'm only going to do part A and part D. Part B and C are very similar, except you're going to subtract instead of add and multiply instead of divide. So we'll start with part A, which is f plus g of negative 1. And this means that you're going to take f of negative 1 and g of negative 1 and add them together. So we just need to figure out what is f of negative 1 and g of negative 1. So here's our f function, here's our g function. So where I see x, I'm going to replace it with negative 1. So that's f of negative 1, but you need to make sure you're squaring negative 1 and make sure you're doing negative 10 times negative 1, not negative 10 minus 1. So you need these parentheses. Now plus our g of x is just x plus 3. So it's just negative 1 plus 3. We didn't need those parentheses, but that's okay. Negative 1 squared is 1. Negative 10 minus 1 is positive 10. Minus 1 plus 3 is plus 2. So that is 13. All right, I'll cover that. Lucky number 13. There we go. All right, next up, we're going to do f over g of x. So this is f of x over g of x. Uh, oops, we're plugging in negative 1. I'm not plugging in x. Let's correct that. All right, I've already plugged negative 1 in right here. So I'm going to circle the values I'm going to use. So this right there, which turned into, let's see, 10. No, oh, don't erase that. Which turned into the 1 plus 10. That's f of negative 1. And g of negative 1 was this 1 plus, negative 1 plus 3, which is the plus 2. Now we're just going to plug those values in. 1 plus 10 is 11 over 2. And that's it right there. If they gave me a different number that wasn't negative 1, I'd have to actually plug that in. But this question gave us the exact same values uh, for each part. And if you notice, all four parts plug in negative 1 